Hey guys, welcome back. This is Nirmal, and today we are learning how do we write a research paper using AI tools like ChatGPT, Bard, and Big AI. So, I'll start with like for example, I don't have any damn idea to about how am I going to start or what are the things I'm supposed to start. So, we'll start with that kind of stuff. So, this is the Google.com I am open with now. Uh, if you want a certain idea, so there is something uh, there is something called as uh, what we say. Uh, answer the public there is a website called as answer the public so I'll just simply go to Google and search for uh, just a second yeah I'll just simply go and search for answer the public and um, there is something I need to figure out and this is the website I'll just open it up and uh, you search for anything you look forward to like you put any word over there like a uh, little bit my internet is a little bit just slower so yeah this is the website now this is by Neil Patel so you'll see Neil Patel of course and if you know about this fellow he's a marketing genius he runs uh, like there is something called as Uber so just uh, maybe you're aware maybe you're not but uh, let's let's talk about like for example if I want to write something related to uh, let's suppose I'm talking about a retail industry like I don't know any anything a retail industry in India okay I'm just typing over here and uh, going for the search button and let me figure out what are people doing what are the people searching what are things that people are asking about uh, what we say uh, retail industry so this is what I have searched for and uh, let the search, search results come it is asking me to sign in again and again I'm just trying to avoid it up mm, yeah here, here it is now these are the articles these are the keywords that are being searched over here now this is this is a tool for marketing so those who are into the digital marketing those who are looking for keyword research this is a really good tool to start with if you're a blogger or something that definitely you can start with but I'm using it for uh, the research paper I'm using it to figure out what should I write so now these are the articles I can uh, click on anything and uh, depending on it will give me results now these are uh, the competition I'm look forward to now I can look forward to now from this if I'm choosing retail industry in India in 2020 now this is to find the ideas is to like figure out the ways or figure out the keywords where to start now I'll take you up to open AI as well and we'll go with the chat GPT and we'll ask what are the things that can be done so this is openai.com and you just need to log into this website if you haven't logged in yet all you need to do is come to this website as open AI and once you click on this login button you'll be redirected to a page like this now I am already logged into this website so it will directly take me to select which product I want to use now I'm choosing chat GPT over here if you have not logged in if you have not signed up it will ask you to sign up or maybe uh, instead of logging in uh, you can uh, like uh, log once you go for login it will ask you to sign up also so that is there now this is uh, what it is this is how ChatGPT looks like now if I I'll just go to ChatGPT and give it a prompt that uh, I want to write a research article I don't know I don't call it as a research paper I call it as a research article on retail industry in India I'm just telling it that like this is how you give the prompt now it is giving me a brief uh, introduction about uh, like what can be done or what how, how what, what framework should I be following for the research paper that I'm asking it to write but I'm not following any of this thing like it is asking me to select a title then abstract introduction and then literature review research methodology industry overview market structure and all those things it is asking me to figure out which which are pretty much required which I should be doing but uh, here I am I'm just uh, going ahead with certain things I'll first let me figure out what exactly so uh, I'm not sure I'm just giving it I'm not sure where to start can you help me in like figuring out uh, a research gap in the retail industry so if I ask it like something like this definitely I should get an answer right I hope I hope to get an answer like this now uh, yeah it does it does it did give me something now this is what it does uh, that uh, you know you should be looking forward to you should be asking for all those things suddenly identifying a research gap can you I'll give it another prompt can you identify a research gap in the same? Now, uh, there are certain research gaps that it has identified. Now we'll choose just something out of uh, something out of it. Not uh, will uh, explanation. For example, 
research gap understanding the impact of digital transformation on small and medium sized retail enterprises in india now this is something it has it is giving proper explanation and now okay perfect i'm going with the topic you have suggested but can you streamline a suitable title for the same now here we are starting now we know what we are doing now we have a, 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 a suitable title navigating digital transformation a study of small and medium sized retail enterprises in the evolving landscape of indian retail industry now what i would do is simultaneously uh, okay i can't uh, switch between this thing what i have is now i have a title now according to this title can you write uh, can you help me uh, framing in framing objectives of the study so now i have a title i need objectives of doing this i i identified a research gap using chat gpt i did figure out uh, sorry i did figure out certain things and these are certain objectives uh, can you convert it into convert it into three one liner objectives this is because this is what i'm looking forward to i don't want this kind of objectives like points and all i just want three simple points perfect can you further simplify them to bold and powerful statements let's 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 try to utilize certainly now these are my now i have my title my objectives clear okay one more thing now i'll write down okay let's uh, i can do one more thing simultaneously i will open bard.google.com at the uh, another screen like another tab i have over here so now because this is something i'm not liking and i will just do one thing with the bard i'll give it a topic okay so this is uh, now with the bard i'll do i am writing a research paper on this is like something i have copied from there and i'm pasting it over here this is my title which i'm telling to bard now i'll ask bard to give me certain idea certain brief about how to go ahead how to plan ahead how to plan my content and how to write simultaneously using both now i have figured out my title objectives is what i also have over here and uh, i just need to convert copy these objectives uh, sorry for the noise that you will hear in the background now okay now these are my objectives can you convert them into okay let it finish writing okay can use simplify the uh, objectives to bold statements okay now these are called bold or pause power statements so i'll just i'm just doing trying to do that so that my objectives are very clear and concise i don't want uh, those kind of like long objectives okay uh, uh, these are the objectives this is the digital landscape of uh, smes in indian retail and identify challenges then investigate the impact of digital transformation on consumer behavior and employment dynamics and uh, to formulate policy recommendations based on a comparative study of digital and now all these objectives will start with two obviously so when you are writing uh, put the word two as such like uh, use your uh, common sense so as to identify now i have my title i have my objectives now what i will do 
uh, i'll ask first i will ask uh, this chat gpt can you can you write a 400 word abstract for the same okay let me get my abstract ready over here this is the abstract see a 400 word abstract and uh, uh, this is too long this is too long can you summarize it into uh, 250 words okay so i'm writing a smaller abstract now instead of making it huge this should uh, do my job and fantastic can you write the uh what we say uh, can can you help me can you help me with the three keywords for the same now identifying the keywords i can ask chat gpt or i did uh, come uh, with this website uh, these are also the keywords which i can take depending upon how do i want to but let, let's ask the, this fellow to give the objective see here we have title objectives abstract and uh, this thing is ready so now what i will do is i'll simply put up these things okay i'll simultaneously i will open another uh, this thing what we say docs a uh, google document so i'll just open a new document over here to show you guys how do i uh, like uh, how whatever things we are okay this is a form that has opened no i don't want a form i want uh, what we say simple docs dot google dot com okay not a google form to be here so i think it's not working let me open it another time so docs dot google dot com or uh, like a document file i want to open where i want just i want to show uh, how we are putting up things okay so now the things are ready i'll just put up uh for example i am taking my title from over here like i have already put in my title where is the title 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 man where did it go so mm, where is my title did we not get a title i think we did get a title but uh, yeah here it is so i'll just take my title from here navigating so this is the title now i'll take this title put it in my uh, word document or google file wherever i want to and uh, okay i'll uh, need to change this formatting this is uh, like big, big since i'm copying it from the chat gpt it is coming in the similar format but i will have to change it to like normal text or something uh not title put it as normal text only but uh, it is something it is not as a normal text so what i will do is i will change the what call it as headline make it as control and uh yeah so i am you kind of uh, used to this uh, settings align to the uh, center perfect yeah so this is my title is ready now here i will Uh, write my author details so like for example i am the only author so uh, author i will uh, write my name it as uh, nirmal okay and then i can write my uh, affiliation like who i am so i can write assistant professor at uh, uh, dash 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 like whatever it is mit arts commerce and science college pune something like this now depending upon uh, who, uh, then you can put up your uh, what we say now if you have second author to you so you can put it as author 2 uh, over here and then you can proceed writing but here i am just putting it as uh, author uh, like if if you have two authors or multiple authors you can put it as author 1 or 2 but since i am the only author i am just writing uh, something like this over here okay now next thing i'll put up is uh, my abstract which i also have kind of ready so i'll just on um, this alignment part i'll do later but for now 
I'll just copy my abstract which is ready in this tab of chat GPT I have further simplified it as well so now this is my abstract okay let me see if I can copy it directly from over here okay I'm just copying my abstract and putting it up like this but I need to change the formatting little bit uh, yeah so I'll delete this aspect this is how it is and yeah here certain things grammarly is active so grammarly will do the job and uh, you can change you know, what we say these grammatical errors and all I'm not I'm not looking for a grammar check as of now I'm just looking for the content so this is my abstract and the spacing looks more so I'll just uh, reduce the spacing over here okay now this is this is where I'm done with the abstract part I'll simply write the keywords now and I have my keywords also ready with me so these are my keywords okay I'll do one thing I'll copy this one also just like that and paste it over here then I will do the job of uh, what we say reducing things up so maybe I L and then Indian retail industry so I'll just do this and then <laughs> yeah so these are my keywords things are ready now I need to proceed with the introduction aspect so the next thing that I'm writing in my paper is uh, introduction so uh, let me just go ahead with it now here we are uh, okay sorry I think I did close that tab okay that was useless also so it's not required my working tabs are open so now let's uh, start writing the introduction for the uh, title and objectives here so it does uh, it is going to provide me with how, how do I write the introduction part so this is the introduction now I'm not reading it up I'm just moving ahead with whatever I'm getting from chat GPT directly because this is a quick way I'm saying and there are certain things you need to verify there are certain things you need to change the language the grammatical aspect then uh, the verification of data certain data chat GPT is trying to provide but you never know whether it is accurate or not but the introduction is ready now this introduction I'll uh, paste it over here and yeah something like this so this is uh, my uh, heading as such I should be saying mm, yeah so I'm putting it as a bold text then this is the introduction so the other text that ChatGPT has written I'm just deleting that aspect okay so this is the introduction of the topic I am ready with now after the introduction I will put up my objectives over here objectives of study like why am I doing all this uh, whatever I'm doing so I'll put up my objectives I already have my objectives ready I think uh, we used bar to uh, do that uh, yeah so I'll do one thing again I'll copy it directly from here instead of uh, selecting and copying because yeah so these are my objectives and again I'll just delete certain aspect and I will add the word to over here again because this is what I want to write this is how I want to write and uh, yeah with this my title my objectives are ready now another thing I can add is, uh, is a literature review over here so literature review or review of literature whatever you say what I will do is for literature review also I will use uh, again uh, bar can you can you write a review of 
लिटरेचर फॉर मी कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ ट्वेल्व रिव्यूज या आई एल जस्ट गिव दिस कमांड ओनली ओवर हियर सो लेट मी सी वॉट हैपन्स सर्टनली सो इट इज ट्राइंग टू राइट अ रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर now this is the review of literature i'm getting again i'll copy this and paste it over on my in my research paper so i uh, please let me know if you would like to continue with the remaining reviews yes please provide me with all the reviews now this is where we get technical when it comes to literature review it has to be accurate you cannot move ahead with uh, things like you know something as random as possible so what i will do is now uh, okay the, the, this much only it has given and this is there is nothing bad or there is nothing wrong about it it is okay now what am i going to do is i'll just simply copy it for now i'm putting it over here let 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 me take everything that is that is what i have got and then i'll uh, go and check with bard for the fact check so let the bard decide then okay so this is what i have over here as 12 reviews exactly what i asked for and uh, so these are the reviews i have over here now okay now so what i have over here is now i'll take this these reviews from here that i have copied and i'll just check i have written a review of literature can you cross check their validity i'm just giving it the review of literature which i have got from chat gpt which i just compiled it together and posted it over here so let me say what does it say based on that because i just want to be more accurate like as accurate as possible so let's try to get the information what we can get over here now what is it saying uh, here are some specific comments on the validity of your uh, digitization trends in global literature study is smith and are uh, highly relevant and provide a comparative study of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay it has given me better things now i am not reading it again i am keeping it very simple now i will take this data and this one i will use for my review of literature so i am deleting everything what i had and now i'm pasting this information which is provided by uh what we say bard to me now i will have to change my formatting and all here but uh, it's okay certain things do get accepted so this is there now i i am ready with my literature review now let's let's complete the research paper now let me see what how what what are the things that chat gpt is suggesting or what are the things chat gpt is making absolutely let's proceed with the research methodology results discussion methodology the section continues okay i don't want data collection content survey will be distributed among a uh, quantitative no smes Okay, this is a uh, research when I'm doing, and uh, the Indian summarized uh, in conclusion the research is the inferior at understanding the practical and okay, I have my conclusion ready. And digitization platforms discussion th these things I cannot write I cannot include because uh, these are certain uh, things based on the research methodology where I need to collect primary data I need to go for data analysis and all those things I cannot write anything. but uh, what i can do is uh, the extent of digitization in smes i can continue with the these three uh, these uh, four things i have got so uh, let's let's write about extent of digitization in smes 
I can let's write about the extent of digitization in SMEs so this is something again that is out there now what does it write about it the extent to which uh, digitization platforms consumer now these are the points which I can take for like what I, I should say is for my research paper but I cannot write on certain things where I don't have data because without data I cannot talk about the research is highly uh, data driven but uh, yeah extent of digitization uh, extent of uh, digitization for okay why this thing is going slow slow like the internet is dying or what it is it is it is what it is we need to face it off whatever it is however it is a half an hour is already has been there so it is taking much of time i'll uh, move on to the okay uh, can you write about the extent of digitization okay it's not picking anything up i need to uh, can you write about the extent of digitization in uh, SME sector? So I'll take it up and I'll uh, proceed with this part as such. So that is something there. Let, let Bard come up with the story that it, it is going to come up with. Wow, it's taking so much of time man yeah the extent of digitization in different sectors another one is here it is something overall the extent of so I'll just copy this information and again uh, paste it in uh, this thing there's no research methodology as such uh, extent of digitization in SME okay now this is something I'm considering it as my heading as my subheading rather I should say so and again one more subtopic is ready I'll include some something as more uh, like not more than that and see when it is something like this I even I can skip this part like I, I'm not going to include this review of literature part in my paper but still I just tried to show uh, tried to give you an idea of like how it is going to look and now this thing has also given something now from this I'll take one more topic digitization patterns okay digitization patterns how about how about digitization patterns in the retail industry in India did come with some information that information also I will put it in my research paper now if it comes out with certain data fantastic even if it doesn't again okay we'll manage something we'll manage because this is not a research paper we are writing it is more of an article that we are uh, writing so here are some of the key digitizations minutes of digitization now the, talking about digitization patterns again we got certain information and this information also I will take up and put it over here digitization patterns in the retail industry as such and then again I'll put it over here fantastic just i will take one more topic not more than that and employment and skill development policy recommendations consumer centric strategies how about how about the consumer centric strategies Now this consumer centric strategies is what going to be the last part of my paper then I'll just conclude it and write the references these two things only I'm writing into it 
now uh, this uh, review of literature part is also something that i am going to here are some examples of consumer centric strategies here are some benefits now this is something that is very easy to identify but it is something we are like i'm considering it as you are writing this first paper so consumer centric strategies now here i'm putting things up and let's finish off let's finish off this article uh, with with a conclusion since bard has written everything i will ask the bard itself to conclude the story so let the bard conclude then we'll go ahead with the formatting and complete this article as a research paper in detail we should say rather so this is what it is the digital transformation here are some key takeaways from this article i want i want the conclusion to be in a paragraph now it's certain spelling mistakes i know i have done a lot of spelling mistakes and grammatical errors but the intention is to get things done as quickly as possible by not devoting much time now see our article is ready we didn't uh, the, like the con conclusion is ready i will simply put this conclusion over here conclusion this is really short article that i've just tried to get it done now one more can you give me a list of references in apa style for this article let's do that so let me get my what we say what are we saying as such uh, the re uh, references i'm saying let the references come and will be done that is what this article is right now you format it up uh, the way you want it the way you want things to conclude the way you want them to end or these the, these are the references we have got so just copy it up take it to the next page and yeah it's as simple as this by right uh, like uh, the writing part is quickly 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 very simple if you okay this is there is sudden mistake i could not copy the reference part let me just copy it up properly then only i'll move on to the next tab now it has been copied now let me paste it up over here done we are this is the, these are the references i am done with my paper now what am i going to do is quickly i'll uh, simply delete this uh, what we say literature review part because i am not doing any research as this is an article which i have not read i have taken from a uh, bard and chat gpt but still it will act as an article and it is difficult to detect this part uh, until and unless they try to do but most of the softwares like uh, what you know what uh, uh, these people are using for a plagiarism detection uh, they doesn't use it. so literature review i'm deleting because it doesn't suit my this thing but it's totally up to you the freedom is up to the researcher to decide what to include what not to now this article also this is there are a lot of mistakes over here certain grammatical and all those errors you need to fix them and here again some uh, benefits and these things you need to convert them to paragraphs and all but it's up to you how you want to go ahead with this and uh, you are the author of your article and you take the charge but anyhow my idea was how to get it done and this is how we got done now the certain important aspects which are required is where you need to put your attention is title should be really good then uh, your details as an author and abstract should be good then uh, the keywords and after the keywords we are writing an introduction of the article then after the introduction there is the main content of your article like what it is about what exactly you are talking about conclude it at the end uh, objectives of the study are also somewhere are required can then at the end can uh, after our completion conclude it in short and then uh, give the references for everything you have referred to right that is it in this video i hope something you have learned i know 
there is not something greater there is not something but at least something is there right thank you so much for watching